Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's play around with the new line character and get more comfortable with it, with it, and um, you know, get more used to it. So I'm going to create a random string. I'm going to create it with a print function, and I'm going to type something like, "Today is a new day," and I'm thankful for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and embed new line characters in in it. You know, any random place. And then we'll see how it's going to be displayed. So I'm going to type a um, backslash n here. There's already an n here, so I'm going to type a backslash in front of it. I'm going to put one here. So I'm, there's already an n here, so I'm going to put one in front of it. Another one here, one in front of it. Put another one somewhere around here. And then maybe one here. Okay. So I want to also point out that anytime you see a backslash n, it's also what's called an escape sequence. Because anytime you see a backslash, backslash that means that um, it's it's very likely that, a, that that an escape character is going to follow it. If that character is indeed an escape character, then the backslash n right it, you know becomes a command and it becomes you know it does w whatever that command is supposed to do. But also that backslash n is a sequence, right? Because you know once you see the backslash, you know it's more it's very likely that an, an, that an escape character is going to follow it so it's also what's called an escape sequence right because you're starting a sequence if what follows the backslash is an escape character all right so i'm going to before i run this pro this program i'm going to use a comment to kind of predict how it's going to look like let's do it together let's go through it and then after that we'll write we'll run the program and we'll see if it matches if the result or the output matches what we we are coming up with now here in a comment all right, so the first thing we see, or the first thing that's going to be printed is the T-O-D-A, right? So let's, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. You can also type that, right? And we have a backslash N, and we know the backslash N is the new line character, and what it does is it breaks from that current line. So what it's going to do is it's, it, it's not going to be displayed. If it's indeed an escape sequence, if it's indeed um, um, an escape character, this becomes a command. The sequence is backslash N becomes a command and it does what, whatever, whatever it's supposed to do so that wouldn't be displayed it's just going to do what it's supposed to do you know so backslash n is going to move so right, right now we're here it's going to move the position from the end of the line to the next line and whatever is what whatever comes after that backslash n is going to be displayed so i'm going to use a comment again so so a, a pound sign this is a comment so ignore that this is not part of the, this is not going to be part of the output all right so we're here after that backslash n, we have a y space is all the way, including a space over here. Now, this space is also a character, so that's also going to be displayed. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to stop right here, right before the new backslash. Copy that and paste it. Now, we see another backslash n. And what, it, what, what that is going to do is it's going to break from that this current end of the line to the next line. I'm going to type another pound sign or hashtag. Um, this is well not hashtag <laughs> a pound sign I mean so it breaks from this new line here okay oops I skipped it sorry this new line here is going to move the position from here to the next line right here and anything that comes after that will be displayed from that next line from this new line going so we are here the backslash n wasn't displayed so we're here now so ew space da will be printed because now we have another backslash n Right, so let's copy that. that and we know that's going to be printed here. And then we have a backslash n, right? So that's a new line character, which is going to move the position from the end of the line all the way to the next line. I'm going to type another um, um, pound sign. And then we're here, right? The new line character, again, that wasn't printed. The, back, the escape sequence wasn't printed. We are here. We have a y a space and space i apostrophe. And we have another backslash n. So we know this is going to be printed at least, right? So let's copy that and print it. We're going to test to see if this matches the outputs that is, you know, going to be displayed when we run the program. So we have another backslash n here. We know that it's going to move the position from here to the next line. And anything that comes after that is going to be displayed from that next line going. All right. So from here, we have a space, which is, going, which is also a character that's going to be also printed. A space T H A. We have another backslash N, so I'm going to print that here. We have another backslash N here, so that's going to break the position from here to the next line. We have a 
This is a pound sign. Again, ignore that. It's just a comment. We are right here. This was executed, right? If it becomes a special command if it's a backslash and n happens to be a new line character. We are here now. K, you know, F U L. It's going to be printed. And then after that, we have another backslash n, which is going to break the position from or move the position from the end of the line here to the next line. I'm going to use a comment to um, a pound sign to con to create the comment. We are here. We have a space F O R a space that's going to be printed and then we have a backslash n right which is not going to be displayed it's going to execute it's going to move the position from the end of the line remember there's a space here right the end of the line to the next line you wouldn't know but and you know you can't see it but there's a space here remember that I'm going to type another pound sign and then whatever follows that backslash n is going to be displayed so What's going to be displayed is this without the pound the pound sign. Those are just to show that these lines are comments, right? So this is just to you know kind of help with our understanding of new line the new line character. So let's run this and see if we get the same output without the pound sign. So when I run this, let's see, we have today. To, well, I don't want to pronounce this, but we have to, we have this line here which which matches. This line also matches again without the pound sign. E W, we can see that also matches Y. That matches. We can see there's a space before T H A, and that's why there's a space here. That's why there's a space here, All right? And then K full space, and then F O R, and then it. <laughs> that reminds me of the new movie that just came out. Um, it. Anyway, so this is how this is just to kind of help with our understanding of the new line character. We are going to use this in our in our strings a lot um, when we are writing our programs, and it's kind of helpful to to have a good um, grasp of it. So that's why I did this. All right, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right then, bye bye.